When Atomos launched the Samurai Blade at NAB, I was excited about the high-def display and the simple controls. So, how did it measure up at a field test? Let's take a look. Hi everyone, Mia McCormick here. The Samurai Blade is a SDI recorder, monitor, and playback device with a 5 inch 1280 x 720 monitor that records to spinning or solid state drives. It basically takes three relatively cumbersome devices that you might use in the field and merges them into one compact box. There are lots of great recorders out there, but not many with monitors that allow you to get a decent read on your focus or exposure. The Samurai Blades monitor is large and crystal clear. It's touch sensitive, and at your fingertips you'll find monitoring features like waveform, vector scope, RGB parade, and three types of focus peaking, and zebra to help keep your focus sharp, your exposure correct, and your colors right where you want them to be. Earlier Atomos models did not include a high definition monitor, and it really makes a big difference in checking your visuals. All of the Samurai Blades features are accessible from the home touchscreen. The device records 30p or 60i and drop frame rates for each as well, and also features pull down removal for 24p footage. The footage is recorded directly from the camera's sensor via SDI, so it doesn't go through any in camera compression before it's recorded to the removable hard drive. Typically, it's compression that leads to image degradation. That SDI input records 10-bit 422 color sampling, and you can choose between two edit-friendly codecs, Apple's ProRes and Avid's DNX HD. Basically, lots of data is recorded, giving you flexibility to work with your footage in post-production. So if you end up shooting a stop under, it's not a big deal and it can be easily corrected. You'll find 12 channels of digital audio that come into the Samurai Blade via HD SDI input, and these can be monitored and recorded separately or simultaneously. With the latest firmware upgrade for Blade, audio meters are improved and give a much more detailed view of input levels. There are also two channels for analog audio from a 3.5 millimeter stereo line input on the side. There are controls to adjust the analog input's gain and delay, just in case you're using this device with a HDMI-based DSLR and a converter. Just below the stereo in is a headphone jack to help you monitor sound. There's a tagging feature on this device that can save some time when editing in Final Cut 10 or Adobe Premiere. You can actually mark areas of your footage that are in and out points that you want to keep while you're recording or in playback mode. So when you get a good take in the field, flag it by touching the little flag icon and hit favorite. The scrub bar helps you quickly find your mark and frame by frame controls will allow you to find your exact in and out points before you import the video. Basic editing can be done before you even get back to the studio. The included docking station with USB 3 connection makes it easy to dump footage onto your computer at the studio or on a laptop in the field. As I said, this Atomos device has SDI input and SDI loop output, so if you want to loop the video to another monitor, it's easy to do that via that output. This is also helpful to immediately play back your video to a client or when giving direction to a production. If your camera only has HDMI output, like maybe a 5D Mark III, then you'll need to get an HDMI to SDI converter, such as the Connect Converter Atomos also makes. I'm using it with the Canon XA25 Pro camcorder, which has SDI output. Another feature that I found useful when recording to the XA25 is the ability to trigger recording on the blade from the camera's timecode. When choosing to simultaneously record internally as well as externally, this eliminated the need to press two record buttons. And since the timecode matched on both recordings, editing and having a backup was a breeze. Timecode triggering can easily be set up by selecting the timecode image on the home screen. The Samurai Blade includes two standard tripod mounts on the top and bottom of the box, but you'll need an additional hot shoe adapter to mount it on a camera like the setup I have here. There are slots for two batteries on back. It ships with one Sony type NPF570 battery, as well as a DTAP DC power adapter, so you could plug it into an Anton Bauer or plug it into the included AC adapter for a continuous power source if you need to. Now, this can be extremely handy on long shoots. 
you'll be able to monitor the battery gauge in the upper right hand corner of the LCD screen. A one nice feature of this device is its ability to reconstruct your file if you have some kind of power failure or you accidentally pull the drive while recording. The Samurai Blades operating system will detect the power problem and reconstruct the interrupted recording within two frames of the power failure. So the Atomos Samurai Blade passed my basic field test with the Canon XA25. It was easy to use and performed without any problems. I'm Mia McCormick. Thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help. Scott Kelby here and welcome to this quick tour of our online training. We have hundreds of online classes for you covering everything from lighting to landscape photography. From portrait photography to sports, we have classes on wedding, automotive photography, shooting, food, fashion, travel, you name it. The most incredible part of this is the price. You get all of this for just $199 a year or you can pay monthly for just $24.95. 24 hour a day, seven day a week access from anywhere in the world. I invite you to join with us today and start learning right now.